welcome to sunday problem solving challenge weekly one question for our competitive exam preparation so today i came up with a challenging time speed and distance question so this is not actually challenging but i want to teach you some shortcuts so that's the reason i have took this question today for problem solving so what's the question about so the question is based on average speed with an average speed of 40 km per hour a train reaches its destination in time if it goes with an average speed of 35 km per hour it is late by 15 minutes the length of the total journey is see you can make comfortable with this question by pausing this video and reading it for one more time so this is really a challenging question you can expect this kind of question in your competitive exams as well as your campus interviews now what is given in the question See, we can solve this question in two ways. First one is formatic way, that is using formula. And second one, I have a shortcut, I will teach you that later. So before that, if you want to try this problem, you can pause this video, try it by your own, and put your answer in comment section if you get. Else, we can proceed with the question. Okay, now what is given? The average speed of the train is 40 km per hour. And it reaches the destination by time. Now, you have to find the distance. So this is your question, right? We want to find the distance. So we know distance is speed into time. So in first case, the train is traveling with the speed of 40 km per hour. And it reaches the destination by time. So you can keep the actual time as t. Right? So it reaches the destination in t minutes. So you can keep it as minutes. Right? Because in second case, they have given if it travel with the speed of 35 km per hour, it will reach the destination 15 minutes late. So with actual time t minutes, it will take 15 minutes late. So it is t plus 15 minutes. So you want to convert minutes to hours, right? So divided by 60. So what is this? It is speed into time, which is distance. So in the first case also, the train is moving with the speed of 40 km per hour and it reaches the destination by time, that is in t minutes. So here also you want to convert that minutes to hours because we took t as minutes. So you have to divide it by 60. Now, if you look both the cases, they are covering the same distance, right? So we can equate it. So 40 into t by 60 equal to 35 into t plus 15 by 60. Now we can cancel 60 and 60. Now you can cancel 40 and 35 in fifth table, eight times in fifth table, seven times. Now eight into t, you get 80. So seven into t, you get 70. Seven into 15, we get 105. Now I take this variables to one side. So 80 minus 70, I get a t. t equal to 105 minutes because we kept t in minutes only, right? So here we converted t by 60 as total hours, but actual variable t is minutes, right? So it is t equal to 105 minutes. But you are supposed to find the total journey, the total distance. So what we can do? Now we know time is 105 minutes, right? Now you can substitute this t equal to 105 minutes in any one of the side, right? So that is in 40 into t by 60 or 35 into t plus 15 by 60. So I put it on left hand side. So it is 40 into, so we know the total time is 105 minutes. That is the optimum time, right? So it is 105 minutes divided by 60. Because you want to find the distance. So, you know, speed is 40 kilometer per hour and the time is 105 by 60. So if you cancel zero and zero, so it's two times, it is three times, and this is three times. And it's 135. So what is 2 into 35? You get 70. So it is 70 kilometer. Now, the length of the journey is 70 kilometer. I hope you are clear with the concept. So this is a formatic way of solving the question. So speed equal to distance into time. Now in second case, uh, we can use the percentage. So we have discussed the percentage shortcut in our percentage session. So for your understanding, I will include that link in our description also, right? Else you can find it on the information. Now, what is the average speed of, okay, with an average speed of 40 km per hour, a train reaches its destination in time. If it goes with an average speed of 35 km per hour, it is 15 minutes late. Now, in first case, it is traveling with the speed of 40. In second case, it is traveling with the speed of 35. Now, comparing to speed 1, speed 2 is how much lesser? 5 km per hour lesser. Right, so I try to convert this to percentage. 5 km per hour lesser. That is how many percentage less? 5 by 40 is how many percentage? We know it is 1 by 8. So what is 1 by 8? It is 12.5 percentage lesser, right? Now, speed is decreased by 12.5 percentage. So if speed decreases, time will increase. 
If one decrease, obviously other will increase. For example, my speed for, for understanding, right? So for pressures, I will explain like this. So we can keep the total journey as 100 kilometer. So if my speed is, uh, let's say, 50 kilometer per hour. So I will cover this distance in how many hours? So I will cover the distance in two hours, right? Because 50 kilometer per hour means in one hour, I can cover 50 kilometers. So in two hours, I will cover 100 kilometers, right? Now, in second case, I increase my speed by 100 percentage. So instead of 50, if I travel with the speed by 100 percentage, if I increase my speed by 100 percentage, right? So it is 100 kilometer per hour. So in how many hours I will cover the distance? One hour. Now, in this case, I increased my speed by 100 percentage. Now, look at my time. So, my time is decreased, right? So, it's decreased by how many percent? So, initially it was 2. Now, it is only 1. That is half of the 2. So, 50 percentage it have decreased, right? So, if my speed increases by 100 percent, my time will decrease by 50 percent. Similarly, in this question, my speed is decreased by 12.5 percent. So, what is 12.5 percent equivalent fraction? So, if I ask you what is equivalent fraction of 50 percent you will tell it is 1 by 2 similarly what is the equivalent fraction of 1 by i mean 12.5 it is 1 by 8 so my speed is decreased by 1 8 that is 12.5 percent so my time will definitely increase right now you want to increase this fraction so it is very simple again i'm explaining if you want to increase the fraction you want to decrease the denominator if you want to increase the fraction you want to decrease the denominator now, how much you want to decrease? How much ever you have in the numerator, you want to decrease the same in denominator. So write numerator as it is, you have 1. And you want to decrease the denominator. So it is 8 minus 1, you get 7. Now, your speed decreases by 1 by 8. So your time increases by 1 by 7. So we know 1 by 7 is 14.28 percentage. 1 by 7 is 14.28 percentage. Right? Now, if I want to explain this value in fraction, I can tell like this. So initial time is seven parts. Now, if you look at this fraction, my initial time is seven parts. Now my new time is one part high. So this is the actual meaning. Now, if you look at the question, right? So this example, my time decreases by 50%, right? So my time decreases by 50%. What is 50%? We know it is one by two. Now, if I if I want to explain this concept in this fraction, I can tell like this. So initially, my time is two parts. Out of two, it is decreased by one part because initially it is two. Now it is only one. So it is decreased by how much? One part. Similarly, my old time is seven parts. So out of seven, it is increasing only one part, right? So now in question, it is given my time is increased by 15 minutes. Now here my time is increased by how many parts? One part, right? So out of seven part, one part is increasing. So I can say this one part is equivalent to 15 minutes, right? Because my older time is seven parts, my new time is 15 minutes high. That is that one part increased comparing to that older part, right? Now, if one part is 15 minutes, now what is my older time? Older time is seven parts, right? So to cover the distance, I initially consumed only seven parts with the speed of 40 kilometer per hour. Now, if I travel with the speed of 35 km per hour, I will consume one part extra. Totally, I will take eight parts time. So that is the actual meaning of one by seven, right? Now, what is seven parts? So if one part is 15, seven part is seven into 15. So what is seven into 15? One, not five minutes. Now, my speed is 40 km per hour. My old time is one, not five minutes. So how many kilometers I could cover? So it is 40 into 105 minutes. So I write it here, right? So 40 into 105 minutes. So you want to convert it to hours. So divided by 60. So if you cancel this, you get same 70 kilometer. Right? So this is a shortcut technique. Maybe you wonder quite uh, difficult by looking this method, but this is actually simple. If you understand the concept of percentage, right? I hope you are clear with the, both the concepts, right? So if you feel it is helpful, give a like. And if it is going to helpful for someone, please add it to them. So I will come up with a lot of challenging questions in upcoming days. So try to rehearse this kind of question by your own so that you will solve this kind of question in lesser time in your competitive exams. So all the very best for spending time here. Thank you so much.